Hey friends, it's good to see you. Um, we're doing Peter and the Wolf week three this week. As always, if you want to do this lesson by yourself, feel free. You can click on the link below this video on the lesson page um, where you found this video. And you can do this lesson yourself, but you're still responsible for doing the exit ticket on the exit ticket button. Okay, here we go. We're jumping straight in. No questions about, can you guess which character this is? These are the last three characters or three sounds, three little songs that we have to hear before you can hear the whole story, um, which we're hearing next week. Next week is just going to be the entire story. Okay, here we go. Peter. Here's Peter's sound. Uh, someone wrote lyrics to go with it. Please listen and follow along. It's going to go up and down with the notes. The listening map that follows gives you lyrics for a song about Peter that you can sing. Notice the high and low pitches of the music. Peter's a little boy, a little boy who skips along. He skips and he skips through the forest. Peter's a little boy, a little boy who skips along. The strings play a song in the In the next section, pause the movie and identify the dynamics, timbre, tempo, and pitch of the music. Before we do that, recognize that Peter's song is very happy. It has that good guy sound. He's the hero of the story, so of course his song needs to be happy and sound like the good one. It's not the bum, bum, bum sound like for the wolf that we heard last week. Okay, what, they're about, what they said is, it's going to play it again, and I think it's just going to be the music, not the words that they came up with. Um, and we're going to talk about if it's the dynamics, how the notes sound together, all that stuff. So just listen one more time, and then we'll come back. Okay. So let's go back, um, and we'll stop on each one. Tempo and pitch of the music. Okay, so the first one, I meant to stop it, I stopped it right when it changed. So dynamics, how loud or soft is it? Do you think it is quiet, do you think it is medium, or do you think it is loud? Think about it for a moment. <laughs> They don't tell you the answer. You already saw. They don't tell you the answer. You're going to have to think of it yourself. I think it is medium loud. I think it's in between medium and loud. I can't point at the screen, can I? I think it's in between medium and loud. You can say it's loud. You can say it's medium. But it's not like aggressive loud. It's not like a rock band song. It is, it's just one family of instruments. Right. Pitch, is it high, medium, or low? It actually has all three. It has high sounds, medium, medium sounds, and low sounds. But I'd say the melody, the bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, is medium. I would say that's in the medium range. It does jump up kind of high a little bit, but it stays medium most of the time. Tempo. So is it slow, medium, or fast? I think it's medium. It kind of sounds like a walking speed. This kid looks like he's running, but it's supposed to be walking. So it sounds like a walking speed. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. So it sounds like you can walk through the woods, kind of like they said Peter's doing in the story, which he does. He does walk around the woods. So he's walking along. Last, there should be one more after this. Got distracted, sorry. So timbre, not timber or timbre or timbre. It is timbre. It's a French word. So timbre refers to what kind of quality is the sound as far as like what instruments are playing. And they ask you, is it singing, voices, percussion, piano, woodwind, strings, or brass? So what does it sound like to you? We talked about two different ways of playing this kind of instrument. You're right, it is the strings. The string family plays Peter. That's the end of that. 
So Peter's played on string family. It uses all four kinds, violin, viola, cello, and bass, all grouped together and play that together. Um, the you, YouTube on the school uh, internet is not letting me watch this video on here, or it wasn't earlier. No, see, it's not letting me play it. Uh, but, but you heard it. It's, it's pretty basic. Okay, the hunter's theme and the hunter's rifles. So we have the hunter and the hunter's rifles. Um, those are the last two. They're in the same video together. Actually, first I will play. I will play for you the hunter's theme video. This is their mini song. Just then. Okay, so that's the hunters, just a little bit. We'll play more in this video. Um, but you also heard the narrator talking through the story. And there is a narrator. He tells what happens, and then something happens, and then he says the next thing. There's no characters talking. The characters' actions are all in the music. All right, let's listen to the hunters and the hunters' rifles. You already heard this one. The theme, the instrument playing this theme also played the duck. It's the oboe. The oboe plays this theme and the duck theme. Oboe. Not elbow. Oboe. has a nasal sound made by the double reed, two pieces of cane that are tied together. What instrument do you think represents the hunter's rifles? The timpani are large kettle drums played with soft mallets. There is a pedal on the timpani, and the player can tighten the head of the drum with this pedal. By raising and lowering the pedal, the player can play higher and lower notes. And that's it. That's all the characters. But let's talk about the timpani first. So the timpani is a very big drum. It's, it's, all, it's bigger than my arms can reach around like in a big circle. Um, it's, it can be tuned to play high notes and low notes, but not like just high drum, low drum like bongos. But it can actually play a note. You can actually tune it to play a single note like you can play on the xylophone and play a note on there. Um, the timpani um, is a really loud drum too. It's very, very large, very, very loud. Um, I'm pretty sure all of you could like curl up and hide inside of it because it's so big. Anyway, the timpani is the hunter's rifles. They're hunting in the woods, so they're shooting, and that's the sound of the booming rifle. Kind of like if you've seen Tarzan, when before Tarzan meets Clayton in the, in the forest, in the jungle, he hears Clayton's gun off in the distance, and it's that thundering sound uh, far off in the woods. Okay, that's all the characters. I don't think there's anything else on this lesson. Um, yeah, let's watch the, the, if they have it, they may not have that on here. There we go. So this is the timpani. So that was timpani, has a high drum and a low drum, and there was a bass drum player too. All right. Um, 
So next week, we are going to tell the whole story, and you're going to hear the whole thing. It's only about 14 minutes long, and that's going to be the whole lesson. I'm not going to make a video with me in it. I might have like a short one saying, hey, watch, the, watch this, um, but I'm not going to talk. I don't have anything to say. You've already heard all of the music in this. Now you just need to hear it as the story all put together. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play the story at the end. And then you're going to go to your exit ticket and do that and be ready to hear the whole story next week. Okay, friends. See you next time. Bye. Peter and the Wolf. Peter and the Wolf is a musical story where all the characters are represented by different instruments of the orchestra. The bird is represented by a flute. The duck by the oboe. The cat by the clarinet. The grandfather by the bassoon. The wolf by the horns. Peter by the strings. The hunters by the woodwind family. And the hunter's rifles by the timpani. One morning, Peter opened the gate and went out on a big green meadow. On the branch of a tree sat a bird. The little bird chirped happily. A duck came waddling around. She went for a swim in the pond in the meadow. The bird and duck argued because the duck didn't want to fly. She wanted to swim. Suddenly a cat came slinking up through the grass. Look out, shouted Peter, and the bird and the duck flew to safety. Grandpapa came out. He was angry because Peter had gone to the meadow. It's dangerous in the meadow. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? He demanded. Peter didn't pay any attention to his grandfather because he was a brave hunter. But grandfather took Peter home and locked the gate. No sooner was Peter gone than a wolf came out of the forest. The cat and the bird hid in the tree while the wolf paced below. Peter watched from the gate. He ran home, got a rope, and climbed up the stone wall. From the wall, he climbed onto the tree, made a lasso, and let it down, catching the wolf by the tail. The wolf tried to get loose. Just when it appeared the wolf might get loose, the hunters came out of the woods, and they helped Peter take the wolf to the zoo. The end.